Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna do a little update on my Cabriolet. I started shooting this video over the summer, working on the brakes. Uh, we've been super busy. I haven't had a, time, a ton of time to work on it. I know, a lot of excuses. Um, but I'm gonna get a little bit of work done on it today, so we're gonna show you what I've shot already, some stuff we gotta work on today, and then stick around for the end of the video. We're gonna go over the plan for the rest of this winter so I can be driving this thing by springtime. So, let's get to work. Alright, we're getting the front backing plates installed since they've been rebuilt. Um, I had to modify this grease shield a little bit because of the um, bolt-on steering arm. Uh, normally it uses these square-headed bolts to hold it in place, but because I'm using <coughs> a side steer spindle, for, or cross steer spindle for side steer. I have to use one of these bolt on arms. And that requires nuts. So there's not enough space to put a nut in there. <clears throat> so I do some slight modifications so the nut would fit and so I can get a socket in here to tighten them.
right, so um, Matt's gonna hold the camera for yeah. once. Roles, and, roles are reversed. Yeah, so as always, things didn't go as planned yeah, today. Yeah, so when we first did the rear radius rods, um, we, I didn't have the brake kit, so we were like, oh, everything went clear. Went to bolt the master cylinder in. First thing this morning, uh, it doesn't fit. So we had to shorten the re rear radius rods. So that was a three to four hour uh, distraction, but I got the rear brake lines all finished. Uh, they are plumbed in. I still need to do the fronts, but that'll be hopefully next week I can get that tackled. Um, some of the big things that I need to do yet, uh, exhaust is number one. But before we do exhaust, I'm gonna redo the front motor mounts. Uh, we got some of the uh, original motor risers. It's like a U-shaped bracket to an early Ford mount. So I'm gonna cut out the stuff that I did. It looks a little bit cleaner. Bolt that in, then we can make full exhaust. Uh, headlights, taillights, um, and a radiator, which I've been waiting on for a long time. A long time. I've been at the radiator shop for a while, but I got these cool, I th we think they're Buick. Did I find them at that? Port Royal Estate? Up in the like attic of yes, the hay barn. That's right. So I'm gonna make some brackets to mount these under the back, kind of where we swept the frame up. So these are, they kind of look like 37 Ford taillights, but they're a little bit more stylized. So they'll go up underneath. Gotta make some brackets for those. Then I have the tried and true guide 682 C's for the front with these just stainless brackets to mount to the frame. So, do those brackets fit or do we need to heat and bend them? Uh, they fit. I had oh. them clamped on in the car pretty well. Oh, and um, like wheels of time, did you have them on? I had them on before. I didn't take them there because I have to put riv nuts in the uh. frame. So I just clamped them on. They look good. Um, it's just I need to drill holes in the frame, put riv nuts, bolt them on. And then wiring, that kind of stuff. A lot of wiring to do. I, all the gauges are electric, so I need to find all the correct sensors for oil, water temp. Um, that kind of stuff. But they're work. out of a GMC or Chevy pickup? Yeah, I just got to find the correct sender for, they're, it's like 56 GMC pickup. They're so. probably the same as Tri-5 Chevy car, which I'm is... I'm hoping. Yeah, fingers Hopefully crossed. the thread pitch isn't totally different for a flathead, but... We can make it down. It's all simple stuff. So that is... What are you missing for the car still? The only thing I'm missing is garnish molding. I have the inside garnish molding that goes on the inside here. Uh, I don't have the wood, but I have the, the garnish <laughs> molding. Um, but I'm missing the door garnish, which is insanely hard to find. Hmm. Uh, coop, none of the coop garnish molding is shaped the same, so I can't cut one to make it fit. Uh, oh, really? What's, a, what's different with the... Uh, the amount of holes and the way that they're shaped is a little bit differently, apparently. Hmm. I was talking to Mike Driscoll from 3rd Gen, and he said none of the other ones fit. Well, what if we cut them and make them? We fit? could probably cut up a four, multiple four doors and make it fit. Yeah. But I need garnish molding, which is hard to find. But if you have an extra set of 33 Ford door garnish, I would be very. You can very start bending happy. over now. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be expensive. But uh, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of well, something. Well, and, and the other big thing to mention is we're, we were talking about today. Uh, and a lot of people give you crap. We're gonna try and get the car on the road looking crappy yes. for next summer. It was supposed to be last summer, but things they didn't quite get there. So this summer, drive it crappy for a summer just to work out all the bugs. Yep. It's a little little difficult to do that, but I think it'll be the... Yeah, leave it here and drive it from here to the warehouse and just work out the kinks and stuff. The yeah. big thing we need to address next winter is it's gonna get chopped. I'm sure that offends a bunch of people, but we're gonna chop the top, uh, lay the windshield back, and the big thing we need to fix is... Some of the door gaps. Yeah, the door yeah. gaps aren't great. And I didn't fix, uh, this is a matte thing. Total, total matte. Uh, we'll fix that before we put that on the Yeah, room. yeah, so uh, there's those big cutouts there. I did the other side really nicely, and I was on a roll, and then we kind of got distracted, and so I have... Little oh. things we need to fine tune before it hits the road. Yes, but... But we're getting there. Very, baby steps very so cool hopefully next week i'll finish up the front brake lines and then we'll have another update as we do stuff there's a lot of finish welding we gotta do underneath so hopefully i can use the lift one day yeah we can do some welding so thanks at, least guys it, for at least it runs it does run we need to sort out running though remember at wheels of time it was not happy oh but i had given you i stole your coil remember oh that's right <laughs> so we gave, i gave you your coil uh, yeah. a new coil back so there's some things we need to work out but thanks guys for watching appreciate it Hopefully we'll be driving this thing this summer. Thanks guys.